what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back girl if you are new here and you are into candle content hygiene content and a bunch of random things if you are into my vibe if you have been seeing me pop up repetitively on your feed and you have watched a few videos please make sure you are subscribed please take that extra two seconds to look to your bottom right make sure that red subscribe button is pressed and it says subscribe because a lot of you guys lately have been telling me that you have been watching my videos and you guys did not even realize that y'all weren't subscribed so please do that because i will be posting my 3k giveaway this week yes guys i woke up this morning well actually really it was like 12 o'clock last night but i officially reached 3k so i thank you guys so much for that i am so appreciative I'm gonna be doing something nice for you guys so stay tuned for that and of course it's only open to my subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed and i will give you guys more information on that in the days to come but without further ado you guys this video is going to be a tj maxx and marshall's mashup haul let me just show you guys some of the things that i picked up because there are a lot of holiday things popping up at tj maxx and marshall's right now y'all and i'm just so excited so let's get into it so i'm gonna start with the marshall's bag first thing that i picked up this is a brand that i have never used before i'm not familiar with but um if you guys are new to my channel or you have never heard me say this i do have very sensitive skin so unfortunately i'm not really able to use bath and body Works shower gels anymore same for their bar soaps for whatever reason they just really irritate my skin so i'm always looking for different brands of body washes to try so this is from the bath lounge um this is the vanilla latte martini and this is a body wash in bubble bath um it says lather up this intoxicating vanilla latte martini bath cocktail for a unique fragrant and memorable bathing experience so um i actually looked up this brand and apparently they have a lot of like cocktail style and scented you know body washes which y'all know if you're new here i'm a bartender so any type of cocktail bourbon whatever sign me up okay sign me up i'm into it so i picked this up and of course the size also like i love body washes that have a pump um and this is just huge this is 32 fluid ounces and it was 6.99 at marshall's girl so it's really hard sometimes to smell shower gels until you actually get into the shower but with this one i'm definitely getting like a vanilla like cough, slightly coffee-ish like it kind of reminds me of that espresso martini candle from bath and body works the chocolate espresso martini but substitute vanilla like i'm getting a little bit of like a boozy aspect but also i'm getting some like coffee vanilla cream type of vibe but this smells really really good so i'm excited to use this in the shower and let you guys know what i think um there were some other scents as well there was a pina colada and also a spiced pumpkin cider or something like that but i just wanted to try this one because this one seemed like it was more up my alley so yeah speaking of body washes this is the playa is it playa or is it playa playa or playa girl i don't know i'm new to this brand so if y'all know let me know in the comments below but um apparently this body wash is like 20 between the 20 and 30 dollar range normally but i picked it up for 4.99 um this is the everyday body wash gently cleanses and nourishes with pineapple papaya enzymes and neem neem oil um so this i was kind of looking up the reviews and stuff which a lot of times you guys if you see a brand that you're unfamiliar with at marshall's or tj maxx um just google it like that's what i do a lot of the times before i buy stuff so i can see reviews somewhere else but yeah this smells i'm definitely smelling like some pineapple but i feel like this is one of those ones that's going to be more moisturizing than scented because the reviews that i was seeing on this was saying this was like super moisturizing and people who have like sensitive skin were totally loving this so yeah i'm excited to use this because this is my first time purchasing anything from this brand and i'm not familiar with it so we will see what happens girl this i was super excited about so this is the um ogx hydrate Mar marula oil body wash wash y'all this body wash is like 20 dollars normally at walmart um normally this brand isn't super expensive but certain ones in their like lines can be a little pricey so this one on walmart's website right now is 19.99 okay um and i found it for 4.79 so this is a rare exotic blend of marula oil pressed from the seed from succulent Mar marula fruit this has kind of a slightly tropical fruity vibe to me I think like tropical florals like frangipani type of stuff like that's what this smells like to me like a tahitian or manua oil i can't talk today y'all i'm sorry <laughs> but y'all know what i'm talking about like that like tropical 
spa-esque type of vibe smells really good but the main reason i bought this you guys is because this is another super super moisturizing body wash for me that lathers up really really well and whenever i do see this i always scoop it up there i believe is a lotion for this as well i have not been able to get my hands on but if you guys see this in your tj maxx i definitely recommend picking this up because it's not cheap and if you can find it for four dollars girl definitely pick it up but if you want to pick it up from walmart and you can't find it um i will link it below which by the way you guys if you have been watching my videos i have started to include links and things because i finally was able to get access to a platform that will directly support me when i link these items so i have an amazon store that i usually link in every single video and i will be linking products as well so please just make sure you click the description box because nine times out of ten i will have a link in there unless it is something i know for sure you can only get at tj maxx or marshall's which nine times out of ten it's better for y'all to go there anyway because that's where you're going to find it for the discounted price so yeah super 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 excited about this y'all so this is the ogx shea soft and smooth lotion with a decadent aroma hydrate your skin with a rich blend with shea butter agave and coconut oil and incredibly moisturized and lightly scented with notes of vanilla and a warm decadent frosted treat girl first of all this huge huge almost 30 ounce bottle 5.99 at marshall's okay there were two of them in the store i only grabbed one i really should have just grabbed both of them but i was like let me leave one for somebody else because you guys when you go to tj maxx and marshall's you really have to dig and look i found this in the hair care section okay in the hair care section so definitely look in there because i would have completely missed this if had i not been over there looking at some other things and i just happened to glance and see that this said lotion and i was like oh my god girl this is one of the most delicious smelling like vanilla cake like scents that this brand has to offer to me. It reminds me so much of something that I just emptied in my last empties video which is the True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere where it's like a rich like shea butter. You know how shea butter naturally has kind of that dessert type of smell but mixed with like a vanilla. Oh my god it smells so good. And this lotion is super moisturizing on top of that. So this is literally just a win-win all around. The smell lingers and it's super moisturizing. And I'm so glad that I found this for so cheap because this is another thing that's usually like 19, 20 something dollars. And especially for this value size, this was an amazing deal. Now you can find the 20 ounce version of this on Amazon right now. So I will link that below, but just keep in mind, it is $19.99 on Amazon, so if you can run to your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, definitely check there first because this has 50% more product for less than half the price. This was actually, I was so excited to see. So if you guys watched my uh, part two of my fall body care mist that I will be using, I did feature a, a body mist from this brand and I kind of told you guys that they have some other scents out that I've been wanting to like pick up and see how I like them. So this is the good scent. This is the Caramel Chai Swirl per Perfume. Girl, the notes are sweet caramel, chai latte spices, and fresh whipped cream. First of all, get into the bottle. Get into the bottle girl like the bottle the top notes are sweet caramel fresh whipped cream middle notes of vanilla musk and harvest berry and base notes of warm chai latte spices y'all literally when i smell this it literally smells like a fall version of ariana grande's cloud notice i said cloud and not baccarat okay because i am one of those people that really does not think cloud smells like baccarat like they smell similar and people will probably think you're wearing one or the other when you're wearing them but to me i've always felt cloud is sweeter it's more feminine it's creamier it's more electronic and it just has a completely different vibe to me than baccarat does but this literally smells like if you were to take ariana grande's cloud or cloud intense and add like a chai notes or add like star anise or like nutmeg like any of those like spicy sweet fall spices adding that y'all this smells so freaking good i will say oh by the way this was 12.99 okay so where are you gonna find a perfume for 12.99 but tj maxx and marshall's girl i don't know but this smells so freaking good they did also have another one that i'll put a picture of over here the um i think it was like wicked apple or something like that 
that one smelled good um but for me the apple was just a little too candy-ish for me like it was like a little overwhelming to me so I left that one behind but there is a body mist as well as a perfume for that one. I think the notes were like apple, caramel, I want to say pineapple. It was like just super super fruity like I wasn't getting enough of the caramel that I wanted so I left that one behind but this oh my god smells so good y'all like literally mm. if you've ever smelled Michael Germain's Sugarful and Spice that is another perfume that I've talked about on my channel here I think in a layering video but smells very similar to that as well i mean this literally smells so good it's very creamy electronic but you're getting the chai note you're getting a little bit of that caramel and this is one of those like lingering scents it's not super loud but you could definitely douse yourself down in this and just feel this warm cozy comforting aroma so girl if you have a tj maxx near you uh, Marshall's near you definitely go and run and check out some of these perfumes there are two or three of them I believe in this line but this was the one that I liked the most that I felt like I was actually going to wear because I am trying to steer myself away from just buying things just to buy them so yes this is a standout for me but of course you guys go in there try them all out see which ones you like and go from there the rest of this stuff is all from freaking TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has just been on point. Like Marshalls is cool. Marshalls is good. You know, I feel like I find more candles in Marshalls, which by the way, I did find some candles, but I completely left them there because I was like, nope, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But TJ Maxx for body care, y'all, has just been knocking it out of the park for me lately. So with that being said, let's just jump into it. This is the Kopari Tokishin Vanilla. Um, this is the hydrating body wash. I skipped out on this the last time I saw it and I was like, let me just pick it up because I do really, really like the scent and I have this um, in the body butter. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get the shower gel. It's sealed up so I can't actually smell it right now. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this smells just like the body butter where it's kind of like a tropical soft vanilla like kind of just falls in that same type of vibe as like island vanilla from pacifica um and yeah kopari is just a brand that never really gives me any issues on my skin um as far as the scrubs the moisturizers like this is just a great brand that i usually am always talking about in some kind of video whether it's an empties ulta haul tj maxx haul whatever i am always talking about kopari They're super cute so this is the Friends television series and Revolution collab um, in the Espresso collection, I guess that's what it's called, or Central Perk. I don't know what the actual collection is called, you guys, but I had never seen this before. But this is the Grab a Cup Cappuccino Body Scrub. Come on. Like, y'all know I love a good coffee scent, okay? I love a good coffee scent. I have not opened this, y'all, to see how it smells. But one thing that I love about this, this is actually a reusable cup. So once you actually um, use, I guess, the scrub that's in here, this cup you can reuse. And it says Central Park. It has, like, the little Central Park logo for, I guess, whatever this collection is. And I just thought that was so cute. And I kind of Googled it, and this, this and the body butter were already getting really good reviews on whatever the website that that these are being sold on is so i went ahead and picked up the espresso body butter i am super excited to get into this y'all because y'all know i love coffee scents and sign me up girl this was 4.99 the scrub was also 4.99 so yes y'all this is one of those things that was kind of hidden in separate parts of the store so Y'all really got to dig if y'all want to find these like super, super cute finds. But yes, y'all definitely check out TJ Maxx to see if you can find these. We did also pick up a Burt's Bees in a new holiday scent. This is the shortbread cookie. Um, Burt's Bees is usually really good about releasing holiday scents. And the past couple have been hit or miss for me. Like I think the vanilla maple or, or caramel maple, something like that. That one's actually pretty good. But there was another one that I got recently that left a really weird like waxy film. So I don't know. I hope this one is good. I hope it tastes good. And I hope it's just as moisturizing as the good Burst Bees formula. Because I'm noticing some of their chapsticks have a weird waxy formula that's kind of going around right now. Um, so yeah, this one's new. It looks really, really good. Um, it says prep lips for a mistletoe meetup with the nourishing hydration of beeswax and the unforgettable flavor of freshly baked shortbread cookies limited edition lip balm batch so act fast so yeah hopefully i like this you guys because i really love the packaging 
and I just love a cookie scented any type of body care. Another um, super cool find. So this is available at Walmart, I believe. But again, I think this is like 15, 19, 20 bucks at Walmart. But this is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Coconut Sugar Body Scrub. Um, I picked this up for $4.99. And this is basically a coconut oil, manoir oil, and peppermint oil um sugar body scrub so this had really really great reviews on walmart's website so i'm very excited to try this let you guys know what i think um i was not able to smell this because it is sealed and i always try to make sure my product is sealed before i leave the store because i don't want something that somebody else has used but yeah girl we'll see how this works and of course i will update you guys let y'all know how i like it um but i definitely think this is a good find because again the reviews are bomb on walmart's website and for this price, you can't beat it. That I actually picked up on clearance. So this was $4.50. This is the Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Body Scrub in the Birthday Cake Scent. Um, this one's not new, but this one is just one that, first of all, I love their scrubs. I love a good foaming scrub. Um, and I just love the texture. The packaging is cute. And of course, a vanilla birthday cake scent. Who does not want that so yeah this is definitely going to be something i will be using here very soon i picked this up for 450 so please do not forget y'all to check out your clearance section in your stores okay because there's lots of gems over there this is the body prescriptions spiced apple spooky vibe so this is like a halloween themed scrub i don't know i can't really tell right now y'all i'm gonna have to use this in the shower and update you guys but from what i'm smelling it definitely has like a apple pie filling type of smell like it smells similar to that moon spiced apple from um victoria's secret so but it also has a little bit of like a soapiness to it so i'm not sure how that's going to translate in the shower but i don't know girl it was 5.99 and this is a huge huge um this is a huge container and i usually always like body prescriptions scrubs anyway so i will update you guys and let you guys know how i feel about this another body prescription so this one is actually new this is the coconut mint um make it happen it smells very similar to those sweet you know coconutty peppermint scents that we usually get from bath and body works around christmas like kind of smells similar to twisted peppermint but you add like a creamy coconut vibe to it or coconut mint drop which is one of my favorites that is what this smells like to me so i'm very very excited to use this in the shower see how it translates see how the scent kind of fills up my bathroom you know for sure this was something that they just put out and when i went in my store they were still putting stuff out so i know a lot of stores may not have everything out on the shelves right now but Definitely check your clearance for TJ Maxx and Marshalls this week, y'all, because they are doing a lot of markdowns, trying to make room for all of this holiday stuff coming in. Okay, y'all, this was such a cute little find. So I had no idea that this even existed, but if you guys follow um, It's Self Care on Instagram, her name's Mindy. I'm, I think she's, I'm pretty sure she's on YouTube as well, but she posted this and layered it with Cotton Candy Clouds from Bath and Body Works. And I was just like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like, let me see what this smells like. So I saw it in my TJ Maxx and I was like, okay, let me see what this smells like. Y'all, this smells so good. It smells like, oh, I got it on my nose. It smells like the strawberry part of strawberry pound cake from this year, if that makes sense. Like a super, super jammy, sugary, sweet strawberry but there's also like a little bit of like an effervescence like i feel like this is kind of a mix between strawberry pound cake and strawberry soda from bath and body works but this smells so good y'all like i usually don't even gravitate towards super fruity fresh scents like when the weather starts getting cold but i definitely want to layer this with my strawberry pound cake um fine fragrance mist and see you know how this works because i'm really just not a huge fan of bath and body works body creams this year the lotions are a little bit better but overall y'all bath and body works got to get it together with the moisturizers this year so yeah i am going to use this instead and see how i like it and then this is something else that i was totally influenced to buy by another influencer if you guys follow chelsea i'm chelsea janae on here 
um, if I mispronounce her name, I'm so sorry, but I saw her post about this in like a travel vlog or something where she was like spritzing her face down and I'm really, really big on facial mist y'all. Like even in the winter, I use facial mist all the time. Like I use facial mist when I'm doing my night tears, my nighttime skincare routine, like in between my steps because it really just helps all of the products seep into your skin. So I love a good facial mist and this is by Evian, which I drink their water all the time. Um, but this is the facial spray. It says uh, hydrate, moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. Um, I can't really tell you guys if I like it or not right now, obviously, because this is a brand new thing. But this is just a huge bottle. And the packaging on this is so cool looking. I feel like this would be something you could like put in the fridge and like just have this be like a nighttime, you know, self-care situation. So I'm excited to use this and let you guys know what I think about it. Y'all, this is definitely something that is one of my tried and trues. So I usually get the small ones of these from Target. Um, and I think they're like $1.99 or $2.99 for those little itty bitty tiny canisters. And I usually use it as a hand cream. But this gigantic tin of the Nivea creams, this was $6.99 at TJ Maxx, y'all. $6.99. And my store had a bunch of them, so you definitely probably will be able to find some of these. But this is one of the most moisturizing, rich body creams that I have ever used in my life. Like, granted, it's not, like, super scented. It's not gourmand or anything. This is definitely one of those super clean type of scents. If you have used Nivea's product, you know exactly what the scent is that I'm talking about. But this cream is definitely extremely, extremely moisturizing. This will be a great night cream, a great foot cream, a great hand cream, especially as we're getting into these colder months. Um, and this is definitely a cream that I use quite a bit. I haven't purchased it in a while because since it's the, since it's so thick, I don't really find myself reaching for it in the, you know, hot months. But now that the weather is cooling down, I'm definitely glad to have one of these back in my collection. Guys, and then a couple of things from the Dianus brand. So um, if you guys have been following me, I have, hauled, I have hauled a couple of products from this brand. I've hauled their Caramel Pumpkin Spice Lotion, which... I liked the lotion in the tube, but the um, the pump lotion, I wasn't really a fan of it. Like it just was, I don't know, something about how it was like I wasn't getting enough caramel and I was getting like a weird spicy note from it. So I didn't particularly care for the caramel pumpkin spice lotion, but if you can find the hand cream in the tube, I felt like that one was a little bit more caramelly and I liked that one. But this is, um, I guess, like their holiday gift set. So this is the goat milk vanilla bean lip balm with the nutcracker goat milk hand cream. And then this is the sweet berry lip balm with the winter berry goat milk hand cream. So I don't know. I have not used either of these. Haven't smelled them. So of course, I will let you guys know what they smell like when I use them. But I thought these were cute little finds. And of course, these will also be great stocking stuffers as well. And these were both $4.99. Now, <laughs> this was something I was so excited to find. So if you have watched any of my TJ Maxx Marshalls haul before, um, I have hauled one of these before, but it was in the original Fresh Cream formula, which is probably like one of my most used perfumes and just scents in general because it's perfectly layerable. But this is the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, which I also have the perfume for. This is the Hydrating Body Cloud Cream with Vitamin Infused Beads. So I don't know if you guys can see, but like I actually thought that this might have like been spoiled or something when I saw those little dots in there until I read what it was and I was like okay so I guess these are like moisturizing beads but I don't know I have never used this formula before but I do plan on wearing this perfume this fall so I'm interested to add this into the mix and see how I like it but this was $5.99 and Philosophy is usually a pretty expensive brand so I usually always will pick it up whenever I see it in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I saw a bunch of Philosophy holiday scents popping up you guys so if you guys have some time over the next couple of weeks definitely start popping in because that is when we start seeing some of these really delicious philosophy holiday scents i've told you guys before i love philosophy's holiday scents they're literally my favorite ones the christmas scents are my favorite hands down so every single year i'm always in tj maxx and marshall's literally like all the time trying to look for those holiday scents because they are just different ones that get sent to every store and it's just so fun collecting them and trying them out seeing which ones you might like um but i will have some pictures over here on the side 
of the ones that I saw in store today that I did not pick up, but at some point I may go back for them, I'm not sure. But speaking of that, let me show you a Philosophy body wash that I did pick up today. This is the Marzipan Dreams, y'all. This is a philosophy scent that I have never gotten a chance to try. Most of the philosophy scents I have tried at least once or twice. This one I had not, and I was very interested by the notes. So the notes, it says sugar floats in the air, filling your heart with sweetness. Almonds soar like fluffy pastel clouds, collecting your candy coated wishes. Y'all, this smells so good. Like I don't even have to re-smell it to tell you guys what it smells like, but I'm gonna re-smell it anyway oh my god this smells so freaking good y'all this might be my new favorite philosophy scent not even kidding if you are an almond lover like this is a dream if you guys have ever had a macaroon you know how macaroons have that like sweet fluffy almondy biscotti type of scent where it's like sweet but it's still fluffy it's nutty that is what this smells like to me. This literally smells like a freaking macaroon. A macaroon, y'all. Like, it smells so good. That's literally the best way I can describe it. If you love almond scents, sweet almond scents, this is for you, girl. Oh, my God. It just smells so good. That's literally all I can say. If you see this, scoop it up, girl. Scoop it up. Now for the grand finale, which is probably why a lot of you guys are here. So, y'all know. I went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls today to find the new holiday hemp scents. I have been telling you guys, I have been super excited and waiting for the new hemp scents to come out because their holiday scents are usually the bomb. And I found a few of them today. I found a few of them, but I have to say, I am a little underwhelmed and I'm gonna tell you why. So the first ones that I found, which I got two, this is the, um, let's see whip it good maple buttercream herbal body moisturizer and if you look really close you can see that it says holiday on there so i picked up two of these and this one i mean it was the scent it was a very very soft scent it was moist they were moisturizing like my hands definitely felt pretty moisturized but it was just a very soft subtle like maple buttercream scent like think bath and body works vanilla confetti cake pop but add like a syrupy quality to it and it's like that sounds really really good but i just found myself having to kind of search for the scent if that makes sense and i don't know if it's because i was nose blind from smelling so many things but it just did not have that wow factor that i wanted it to have unfortunately so while these do smell good they are definitely gourmand they're definitely sweet it's just super super light um so if you're wanting something to knock your socks off this is not it. I mean, this is cute if you're collecting, if you collect hemp lotions like I do. I do know I'm probably still going to use these, but the scent overall, it just wasn't as like strong and permeating as I was expecting like a holiday scent to smell like. So I don't know, maybe if I try it again, once the weather gets a little bit colder, it might smell differently, or I just might have to let it sit for a little while and see how the scent kind of develops. But as of now, this one's okay for me. This is the Butter Me Up Salted Toffee Herbal Hand and Foot Cream, okay? I'm gonna put some on right now just so I can make sure that I wasn't tripping the first couple times, but y'all, again, this is not a loud scent, um, which hemp scents have never been super loud necessarily, but I don't know, I just always felt like the holiday scents were usually like super, super, you know, strong the scent lingered for a while like i don't know i'm just a little underwhelmed with at least the tj the tj max and marshall's holiday scents because again this one is just i'm like searching for a scent like it definitely smells like a salted toffee piece of candy like the names are spot on y'all like i couldn't describe it any more perfect than the actual name it spell itself because i'm getting a salted a salted piece of toffee but again, it's super, super soft and faint. So if you are wanting something that's going to knock your socks off, this is not it. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. It smells good. But you are going to have to get right up on your hands to smell it. So if this is something that you are wanting to use to like layer or things like that, I mean, you probably could add it in the mix with other things. But again, this is just not super projecting, unfortunately. But it did leave my hands fairly moisturized. So there's that. So 
I don't know y'all like I said I'm gonna keep trying to use these as it gets a little bit colder see how my thoughts change um, but as of now that is what it smells like and I'm just kind of like eh, you know that's how I feel right now the last thing this is what I went to TJ Maxx for okay from the packaging alone right you would think that you're about to get a peppermint marshmallow cupcake type of scent right no no ma'am no ma'am so this is the baked with cbd minty and mellow peppermint herbal body moisturizer now this one is infused with 600 milligrams of cbd okay um if you are not familiar with cbd cbd has a lot of medicinal um you know medical benefits a lot of stress relieving properties and this is not a cbd conversation at this point because I use CBD in various different forms, so that's a conversation for another day. But I am familiar with Hemp's CBD products. So this is the Lavender CBD Lotion. Um, I got this from Ulta quite a while ago, y'all, so I don't even know if it's still there. But I use this lotion like a lot right before I'm about to go to bed if I've had a stressful day or if I have a migraine because the CBD in this lotion does help to relax my body relax my muscles and just overall relax me so that i'm able to fall asleep so i think that's what they were going for with this because i don't wear this for the scent i do not wear this for the scent like it smells like lavender but it's literally something i would only wear to bed because it's not something i would want to smell like during the day you know and the same with this one y'all this literally smells like straight up peppermint it smells like straight up peppermint. It smells like twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works without the vanilla. Like, without the vanilla, girl. Like, I was very upset because the packaging, y'all, I was expecting this to be a sweet mint type of scent. And it's just not that. It's literally just straight up mint. And I think it might be because of the CBD in here. I don't know. This is probably geared more towards being maybe like, a scent that you would use during like a massage or something you would use fresh out of like the tub when you're about to go to sleep I don't know y'all but this is definitely not a gourmand mint to me I mean it, it does smell like peppermint candy but it just doesn't have that sweetness I was expecting it to have so the scent in this one I'm I'm really just not sure like if I keep this one it will be to see how it helps me sleep um, but I'm not a fan of the scent. I'm not a fan of the scent, y'all. So I don't know. I'm I'm a little worried now for the Hemp's holiday scents this year. I know Ulta should be getting some soon. So hopefully those perform a little bit better. But I don't know, y'all. For this one, I'm not a fan of the scent. And for the other two, I like the scent, but I just wish they were stronger. So overall, I'm a little on the fence right now with Hemp's holiday scents. Um, so we will see how things go as the weather progresses but that is it you guys for this tj maxx marshall's mashup haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys saw some things you might want to try and be on the lookout for on your next shopping trip and stay tuned for this week's videos you guys because i will be dropping a lot so please make sure your subscriptions are on and that you are subscribed to begin with and i will see you guys in my next video bye